Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After markups have been added to a PDF, Acrobat displays a list of annotations within the comment pane. To display the comment pane, simply select the comment tool from the tools center or tools panel. Notice that the top of the pane provides a search comments text field. You can click into this field and then type text that you want to find within a comment to locate comments. Delete the text within the field to display all comments again when finished. The total number of comments that have been added to the PDF appears below the search field along with three drop-down buttons. You can use the Sort Comments drop-down button to sort comments by their page on the PDF, by author, by date added, by the type of comment, by checkmark status, or even by color. To the right of the Sort Comments drop-down, you will see the Filter Comments drop-down button. Unlike the Sort Comments feature, which displays all comments, the Filter Comments tool lets you designate which comments appear in the comment pane. By default, Acrobat is set to show all comments. If you don't want comments displayed, you can check the Hide All Comments option within the Filter Comments drop-down. You can also filter comments in a number of other ways. You can choose to display only comments made by specific reviewers or display only certain types of comments. You can even filter comments based on their status or color. However, it's important to keep in mind that filtering comments only removes the appearance of some comments. It doesn't remove markups from a PDF. To the right of the Filter Comments tool, the Comment pane provides an Options button. You can click this button to access additional commenting features. The commands in this drop-down menu let you print a summary of all comments or export the comments to another application like Microsoft Word. The Options drop-down menu also gives you access to Acrobat's commenting preferences where you can adjust many aspects of the commenting and markup process if desired. These commands will be discussed in the next lesson in this chapter. You can click a comment within the Comments List panel to select that comment within the PDF page. It then appears with a blue border surrounding it in the PDF page. After selecting a comment in the Comments List, you can click the checkbox in its lower left corner to mark it as checked. This can help you keep track of reviewed comments. You may also right-click a selected comment and then roll over the Set Status command in the pop-up menu that appears. You can then click a status in the side menu of choices shown to set the status of the selected comment. This will make filtering comments by their status more effective. You can also reply to comments within the Comments List panel. To reply to a comment, click to select the comment in the Comments List panel. The comment is highlighted within the panel and a Type Your Reply text field appears at the bottom of the comment. You can click into the text field to type a reply and then click the Post button to add the reply to the comment. Notice that a Reply icon appears in the upper right corner of the comment within the comment panel. The number that appears with this icon indicates the number of replies to the original comment. Keep in mind that if you are using an email-based review process, you will have to email the new file to the comment author before the person will see your reply. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.